bigger in here. Uh, I got my CJ5 here, 1964 CJ5 with the V6 uh, Buick 225 in there. Uh, I got my 1951 SCAD teardrop. I got this thing about 10 years ago. Uh, fixed it up, got it running, and then uh, decided it needed a new engine or rebuild the engine that I had in there. Pulled it out, had it rebuilt, and at that point it was a, it was this color. Um, so I had it, I took it into the body shop, and had them repaint it. Came out really nice. Stuffed back in the engine. It's a 225 V6 Buick. It's got a one barrel carb on. find any of these one barrel carbs for this Buick 225 anymore so I had to go with this uh, Chevy inline six carburetor goes to uh, was it 216 I think or 235 yeah new water pump everything's pretty much new alternators new these days I couldn't find a regular looking alternator that's only like fine at my O'Reilly's nice and shiny but it looks kind of good next to this dolled up engine i just recently took it in to get new um exhaust put in hers like a kit it's got a new top uh running ndt's on it 700 by 16s got a new clutch in there new exhaust electric fuel pump on there got all new shackles and new bolts shocks leaf springs are all new <laughs> got swinging pedals Dual master cylinder. Got swinging pedals. It's got a T14 in it. A Dana 20 transfer case. The new top, best top. tire NDT is a little smaller it's a 600 by 16 it's got the old school hitch on there I kept saying over the last 10 years that I was gonna change it put a, a little bit better one on but I just never did uh, I got tired of the change tearing up the back there so I put a little weld on there plus a nut first I had the nut and then it was loosening up on me as we was driving so I put a little weld on there a lot better, a lot less noisier. LED lights, tail lights. It's got the original step on there. I didn't have the heart to take it off. I never took it four wheeling, so it's always just been a grocery getter. Cruise around town. I, I did take it to Amboy a few times. Trailers, 1951 SCAD. I rebuilt the 
the back end here, the foot Jeep fenders, uh, Jeep axle, not actually a Jeep axle, but a trailer axle back there. That holds the Ford five and a half by five. New shackles, new U-bolts. I reinforced the frame with two by fours so it can handle the freeway power. This thing scoots down the freeway like nobody's business. Gotta look back behind me, make sure it's still there sometimes if it's so quiet. It's a cool little rig. Have a good time with it. These lock, have the key for them. Still got all the original wood in here. There's another section over there, but there's no frills in here. It's just the sleeping quarters. A brand new bed. The old crank windows here. You gotta make sure that they're closed when you cruise down the street. Because if it's open like that, these panes will fall out. Right now and again, you gotta come down here, squeeze on the bottom, make sure that they're tight. Cause as you drive, they jiggle and it loosens these up. That's why these two are new. Manufacturer Southgate, California. Says uh, 1961. Pretty cool. Got the little tagger right there. Running 600 by 16 NDTs, Firestone Square. I had a water hookup, I guess, right there, but I deleted it. It was not functioning. Um, put this thing in there if you want to put a cord in. You can run your gadgets inside there. Took this damn boy like three times. It's pretty sweet. Made a little Jeep thing in here, Jeep style. Route 66. It's the original hand, original uh, stove here. It works, but it's not hooked up. It had some really old lines going in there, and I just took them off. And I was gonna put them back, but I still haven't done it yet. Good storage space. Route 66 bottle opener. Coca-Cola bottle opener. It's a cool little rig. This guy's just usually a, a grocery grader. I pulled this with my other vehicles as well. But, as well, but uh, I've only used it like three times. Went to Amboy with it. So both of these guys went to Amboy together about three times. No frills, Route 66, going about 45 miles an hour down the highway. Had a good time. That's my cool little rig. Thanks for watching.